everybody, I'm Ashley Kaino from the My Best Self Project, and welcome to your daily Tarascope forecast for Tuesday, the 29th of January. All right, our cards for today. We have the Six of Air, the Two of Earth, and the Seven of Fire. So a quick overview of the energy today. Things seem to be looking a little bit better. Things are picking up a little bit, though it does still feel like life is out of balance there. So do be aware of that. Do be aware that um, things may seem off and it's like, it's okay, it's a process. But stand your ground, stay strong, keep moving forward. That's kind of the overview here. So let's really dig into it. So we've got the six of air. It says things are looking up, the end of a difficult situation, taking a trip. So this is all about things getting better, sort of moving off into a new phase or a new place. Not like massive completion or anything, but it is definitely like I'm leaving this behind, I'm moving forward. So if there's been a situation that's like been stressing you out or something's been going on, um, even financial worries, whatever it is, this is showing that the things are gonna smooth out. It's gonna become a little bit more smooth sailing now. It's gonna get better. Also, it could represent like traveling. It could represent being on water. Um, all of that kind of stuff, like having more enjoyment in your life, but definitely it's like an alleviation of like, oh, leaving some stuff behind and like heading into this like new, more tranquil, peaceful phase. So that's really good if you've been dealing with some tough stuff. Now the two of earth is showing that even though you are moving into this new phase, um, there's still like an imbalance. So it says too much going on at once, the need to make a decision, consider a more playful approach. So this could be that you're actually trying to make a decision, trying to weigh things up, or it could just be that like your life is like out of balance a little bit and there's a lot of stuff going on, you're feeling stressed out. So the two of earth is advising you to like try to like not take it so seriously or get so stressed out or try to employ some methods that allow you to step back from the situation and, and laugh at it a little bit more or even if it's serious and it's not something you can really laugh at, it's just like trying to get like a clearer perspective on it in order to make the decision. But it is definitely saying that you've got a lot going on. There's a lot of things, uh, balls in the air right now you're trying to juggle and something has got to give so start thinking about that but not in a stressful way and it feels like by you doing that that's going to totally help things move into like smoother territory here now the seven of fire is saying defend your beliefs and decisions stand your ground choose your battles wisely sorry i've been sick with a cold the last few days so i'm really like stuffed up um this to me suggests that when it comes to finding balance in your life and what needs to be given up or what needs balanced out, it's basically saying prioritize your wants and needs versus others. And I don't mean like if you have a kid, don't feed them. It's more like if someone has told you like, I want to, I want us to start focusing on blah, blah, blah. But in order to do that, you need to sacrifice your blah, blah, blah. Yes, compromise is good, balance is good, but what I'm he hearing here is don't fully give up what makes you happy. And so the seven of fire saying, defend your beliefs and decisions, stand your ground, choose your battles wisely. So basically, she is like on her dragon, she is like charging ahead anyway, and in traditional tarot, this is a very like kind of defensive card, like maybe you're feeling attacked. So it's a case of just like really standing firm and not backing down when it comes to what you're trying to decide here, what you're trying to work out, and really... It's about listening to your heart and what it wants. And I'm not saying prioritizing it over anything else, but not acting like your needs don't matter, okay? It's telling you your needs do matter. They are important, so stick to them and stick to knowing your value and your worth and that you deserve that and move forward. So we have this sense of moving into this new phase, creating more balance, more stability, but we're going to do this by making sure that we're prioritizing ourselves too. Okay, that's the message for today. Our affirmation, or not our affirmation, our angel message of the day, emotional sensitivity. Honor and respect your, de your deep sensitivity as it is a gift to us all. So again, there's this sense of like self-care or like looking after your needs right now. So even if someone else is coming in and giving you offers or giving you advice or like saying, hey, like maybe we should consider like giving up or you do less of this or whatever it is, 
it's like really saying prioritize you right now and really turn within to yourself for answers also with the two of earth here and making these decisions when it's saying consider more pay playful approach maybe that means actually like going within not stressing out so much but listening to your own inner guidance as the message is really coming out with the emotional sensitivity also you may be more sensitive than normal right now too and everything feels like you can feel everything and you're kind of like ah and you might need a little retreat from the world um, but overall, it's I'm really getting this sense of like, in order for you to like, make the decisions and the directions that you want to move forward in in your life, it's really to do with listening in here and not from any other outside sources. It's about what your heart is telling you to do and what your intuition and your gut is telling you to do. And that's the way to move forward right now, really to stick to that. So then we have our affirmation of the day. In any moment, I can surrender to the powerful presence of love through prayer, contemplation, and stillness. So I feel this really goes hand in hand. It does look like she's surrendering and she's turning within. She really is leaning into like the higher power. She's contemplating. She's meditating. She's quiet. She's still. She's listening within for the answers. So you're being advised here like to get the answers. Be still and really listen to your inner voice and what it wants and also focusing like it's something I posted yesterday too focusing on the now like she's in the now moment here and that's a lot of what meditation's about meditation is removing your head from the past and the future and just being in the moment and I feel like that's really important and that's a good way to surrender too like when you're stressed out and you're just like I don't know what to do there's so many choices I don't know what direction to go whatever it is by removing yourself from stressing about the future or things in the past and just being present and being mindful and just focusing on okay what can I do now that can like release so much stress and worry and anxiety and can really help you make take correct action steps in the now because it's the only thing you really have control over so like yeah maybe you want x y and z a couple of months down the road or whatever it is but try focusing like well what can i do right now so versus thinking about that outcome and being stressed about it because it's not here and you don't know if it'll happen or not do what you can do right now to try to ensure that you will get to that destination but it's all about what you're doing now and not focusing on the destination as such being present in this moment now and trying to create that happiness and peacefulness and surrender in the moment now and trusting that all will be well as long you know as long as I'm taking the right steps and listening to my inner voice. All right, you guys, deep message today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's tarot scope. I do have private readings. Click the link in the description, and I look forward to bringing your tarot scope tomorrow.